and uh, I don't think she gets the guy on the bear trap. But yeah, Jason catches up to her, and he runs this time. He, he, he the fucker's fast. I mean, he runs like he did in the second, third, and fourth one while he was still human before he was a zombie, and he's human in this too. So it'll make sense they would run, and. <sighs> The characters running from him, uh, they don't trip and fall and stumble around. So, I, you know, I appreciate that. And then, you know, you got Jason running, catching up to him. He's really fast. He's really big. I think he's taller than this one than he was in the originals. Excuse me. And then, um, yeah, like he runs really fast. Fucking swings that machete with all his might, and like the fucking jumps are potent. I mean, they, 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 you know, you think there's going to, you think it's predictable, you think there's going to be a jump, and then there's not, and then there is when you least expect it, you know, like, you're expecting it, and you're like, oh, okay, boom, catches you off guard, I really appreciated that, <laughs> and, you know, fucking the whole theater, well, I, hold on, yeah, the whole fucking theater just went nuts, and I think, like, after the, he caught up to the girl, it cuts to the title screen, Friday the 13th. Whole fucking theater just roaring, just cheering, clapping, screaming at the top of their lungs. I mean, the shit was intense. And I couldn't even hear some dialogue after that till they cut to the next scene because, you know, everybody was still fucking just, you know, riled up. And that's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Um... So then, I guess the girl, it, it looks like she gets killed. So, jump to like six, six months later, uh, we're at a gas station, and these college kids are going out to some uh, summer house out near, the, you know, near Crystal Lake. Uh, one of them's dad has a summer rental house, I guess. Um, and while they're at the store, uh, Jared Padalecki, the guy who's looking for his sister, the girl who just got killed in the previous scene, or uh, seemingly got killed, um, he's talking to the clerk, you know, he's got a flyer with the girl's face, you know, he's looking for her, and then one of the, guy, one of the kids um, from the car, they're coming in the gas station buying food and stuff like that. <clears throat> And, you know, one of them's kind of like a token jock asshole type, although he's not really that much of an asshole. But he kind of, you know, picks on Jared Padalecki a little bit, you know, because he's, like, taking too long in line. You know, you're going to buy some or what? And da 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 you just, you know, really giving, a hard, giving him a hard time about it. So, um, they eventually go back to the, they go to the uh, rental house. Not rental house, but, you know, whatever the fuck you call it. The house out in the woods. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. Um, and, of course, there's a token Asian guy, token black guy, although the black guy wasn't as stereotypical as I thought he would be, so that was a good thing. I mean, there was this one good little joke <laughs> where um, he's got, like, a record deal or something like that, and one of the girls asked him, like, what kind of music is it, rap? And he's like, why you gotta go racial? You, you think, you know, like, just because I'm black, I can't listen to Green Day? And she's like, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So what kind of music is it? Rap. <laughs> so, you know, nice little joke there. And then, let me see. Um, meanwhile, Jared Padalecki, looking for his sister, he, he, he makes it to this, um, I don't know what you call it. Uh, I think it's a barn. I mean, there's this guy working there in the barn, this redneck. Um, I, I think he's he's doing something with a grinder. Like, I'll get to it later. I'll get to that later, the grinder. But he's kind of working with some technical shit, some kind of technician type of guy. I mean, I wasn't sure whether it was a car garage or just it's just some kind of barn where he's working on shit. So. Guy comes in there looking, you know, with the flyer, looking for his sister. He hasn't, you know, redneck hasn't seen her. So, 
But then he's like, hey, you want some weed? There's some weed out there. I can sell to you. Da, 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 da. And then he's like, no, no thanks. So goes away. And then Redneck hears something upstairs. So he goes up there. Another seemingly dumb character move, sort of the plot. And then there's this dummy, you know, with a sheet over it. And you think it's Jason, but it's not. So he pulls it off. It's a dummy. And then he's starts filling up the dummy. Well, first of all, he, he was about to, he, he took out a Hustler magazine, starts, you know, jacking off or whatever, but then when he heard Jason up there, he went up there and then the dummy starts filling up the dummy and then Jason shows up, kills him, and then that's where he finds the hockey mask because at this point before that, he was potato sack Jason from part two and then finds a hockey mask in there puts it on, you know, checks himself in the mirror, you know, a couple seconds and goes away. And you see his face uh, while, he's, you know, he's str the redneck struggling with him, you know, trying to kill him. Um, you see Jason's face. Uh, I think he knocks, or somehow gets the potato sack off for a second. Uh, you see Jason's face for like maybe two or three seconds and it's really ugly, but I'm not sure how ugly it was because I barely saw it. And I was sitting up in the second row at the front, so it was kind of hard to make out everything happening on the screen. It was a little fuzzy, at least for my eyes. And um, so yeah, he dons the hockey mask. You know, there's no Shelly character in this. Dons the hockey mask, goes back to where he usually is. Um, let me see. Basically, from that point on, you got good kills, you know, good gore, uh, stock scenes and all that. And like I said, you know, the jumps are kind of predictable, but a little unpredictable. Kind of, They kind of, you get misdirection, you know, false scares and then the real scares. And, you know, Jason's always like really fast and just, he's fucking badass. I mean, he's strong, he's smart, you know, smarter than usual, I guess. He's taller, he's bigger. Um, and there's this um, one archery scene where the girl, uh, a guy and a girl, the guy's driving a boat and the girl's uh, water skiing behind. And then she hits a wave, you know, loses, you know, falls into the water while the boat's still going. And while the boat's still going, just out of nowhere, you didn't expect it. You think maybe Jason's gonna be under the water when the girl kind of hits a wave and falls in the water, but a fucking arrow goes in the dude's eye just out of nowhere. Like, whoa, what the fuck? And then turns out Jason's somewhere at shore, you know, with the bow and arrow, he just got good aim. So the boat's still kind of going around crazy, it comes towards the girl, you know, she's like treading water. It's like, whoa, what the fuck are you doing? And then comes, boom, bonks her in the head, right? So she's a little dazed. She's tripping, whoa, whoa. And then she eventually sees Jason out there standing, like, you know, at shore. So another dumb character moves to the plot. She swims underneath the dock <laughs> where Jason eventually finds her. You know, he walks over there. He's on top. She's underwater. She's under the dock. She's got her head. And, you know, Jason's up there, and he fucking knows she's under there. He she he's just trying to fuck with her, make her think. You know, he doesn't know where she is. Like that. He's at. He's all looking up, acting like, you know, where is she? She was in the water, and she's like under there. And then she fucking shrieks like, <gasps> another dumb character, <laughs> like. Don't breathe so loud, you know, it'll get, it'll get you killed. So, of course, you know, eventually a machete comes down, stabs her in the head, pulls up, get, get a little tit shot, and then, you know, he's pulling out <laughs> from under there, and then she, you know, goes back under. So, that was another good death scene.